Hello, I'm David Chung, and this is my term project for 15.1.12. So basically starting um, Gomoku the PR basic relationships between one player and two player mode. I'll demonstrate one player mode first. Um, flip is a mechanic that I created in which um, the row in which you place the piece just flips onto itself. Uh, right now I'll demonstrate without it. Um, uh, black is always the player and white is the AI bot. The AI bot uses alpha better pruning to um, choose like basically like the best key, like the best um, um, moves to play. Um, alpha beta is basically like Minimax, um, but more optimized. Minimax is an algorithm in which um, the bot or AI tries to maximize its points while minimizing the opponent's points. Um, and right now it is running at a depth of 3, so um, I've tried other depths, but depth of 3 seems to make good moves, so right now it blocked for me from winning. So Gomoku is traditionally played on a 15 by 15 board with um, placing five in a row to win. However, uh, I found that uh, that takes way too long for the AI to run because it has to go through other cases. So I reduced it to a six by six, oh, I don't know what, uh, six by six four with uh, placing four in a row to win. Um, okay, so, oh, I could have started. Um, pressing R also restarts the game, but I just, I don't know why this. Okay, um, two player mode, I'll demonstrate without flip. Basically, this is like your classic Skomoko, but it says like uh, four in a row on a smaller board. Um, it's just like your normal. Yeah, and then press R. Then this time I'll demonstrate two player mode uh, with flip. Um, and it works with the AI bot too, but then since the AI bot takes too long, I'd rather show other features first. Um, so basically, yeah, basically it flipped the board. So if you saw that, so if I place the black here, basically. Um, the black and white will switch places because this entire like row will like flip like reverse basically so yeah and this is really interesting because traditionally like if there's already a piece here like black cannot get a piece here but like if it wants this piece and has a piece here it could place it here and flip the entire row so now it has this piece um, this is really interesting because you could easily like it's easy if they have three in a row with two empty spaces it'll be impossible to defend but with this you could just swap the piece and have that um, and I think this is really interesting to play with because it adds like another like feature onto the game. And what's this here? Oh, yeah. So basically flipping, and even if it's like a move that wasn't like made to flip, if it just became flipped and creates four in a row, it also lets you one, which is, which I think is really cool. Um, aside from this file, there's also the AI tester. This one is the file used to test the AI bot. So basically makes the AI bot play against another AI, but this one um, basically chooses this piece by random, so let's check that. Um, it also has a foot mechanic because I think it was pretty cool. Um, I'll first show it without it and just have you like watch it play. So again, white is the AI bot and black is the other piece. Um, the score, the, this thing actually does update, but black since it chooses by random, it's so fast that it just seems to stay at AI bot at this point. Um, So yeah, it does take a bit of time for AI bot to choose a move because it has to go through all the cases, but it still does a pretty good job. And I think the memorization table does help because it reduces the number of time you have to use. And as you can see, basically, right now there are um, 99,000 possible board states that's calculated, um, and it is uh, helpful. Okay, so. So basically, oh, okay, so if I run this again, um, there's also, you could play with flip. Basically, this is just the same thing where you have to go against it, but now uh, it does use flip. And yeah, so basically, a bot, AI white, when it evaluates, does take into account flip, so it actually has some interesting properties like that you can watch. Um, but I don't have enough time, so that's all for it. And, um, yeah, so I think this is a really interesting project. I learned a lot from it. and really improved my skills a lot too. So yeah, that's it.